with the Semental cattle back in 2001 and a couple years later I came along and uh, we've been growing the program ever since to where we are today with 100 cows. Our goals have always been uh, for a quality based program. We market about 30 bulls a year in a local bull sale and uh, really strive to have a, a maternal cow herd. Our focus has been on, on a strong maternal based herd. The health and welfare of our livestock here is of the utmost importance to us. We're in contact with our veterinarian and our embryo transplant team on a regular basis. Um, they're actually the ones who recommended uh, this product. Uh, today we're going to talk about a unique, novel way of supplementing uh, trace minerals, and that's in the form of these all-trace boluses. They're made by Agrimin and sold by Vetiquinol here in Canada. Within the boluses is copper, selenium, cobalt, iodine, manganese, and zinc. And those six trace minerals will be released into the rumen over a period of about eight months as these boluses travel together and rub on each other. The big benefit to using these is that you get a consistent daily dose of trace minerals trickling into the digestive tract of your cattle over a period of about eight months. Unlike uh, free choice minerals, which are commonly used, uh, studies have shown that uh, intakes can be all over the board. Some cows love it and some cows don't go near it. At the end of the season, we can have trace mineral levels that are low and high all in the same herd. All trace boluses really can be given at any time of the year, but there are a couple of times that are really ideal for administration. One is at preg checking when that cow is, when your cows are going into the winter into the winter months and you're handling them anyway, it becomes uh, just one more small task at preg check time. Uh, the other ideal time is just prior to spring turnout, perhaps when you're vaccinating or sorting, uh, you can deliver your all trace bolus to your cows at that point as well. We're just about wrapped up our breeding season, so it's an easy time to. Uh, to put these boluses in as we're running our cows through and ultrasounding and prey checking them before we go to grass. Administering the all trace bolus is really quite simple. Um, again, we're only doing it as, as often as once every eight months. Uh, at the time of bolusing, we simply load two of these into the stainless steel all trace dosing gun. Uh, rounded end up, that's the end that's going to travel down the esophagus first. We put two boluses into the gun at once. And once we've got this over the back of the tongue, we simply discharge both boluses into the back of the throat latch and where they're swallowed and passed down the esophagus. I think what we really like about the all-trace boluses is the convenience of it. Uh, we grain farm as well and we have a young family. Uh, we're checking our cows all the time in the summer but it's really nice not to have to pack mineral with us when we go to the pasture and know that uh, those cows are getting that mineral every single day in their system. We're putting in 70 embryos a year in between our farm and another cooperator herd. Having a good mineral program is uh, really important when we're uh, doing as much implanting as we do. It's a handy and reliable product for us to use because we know that uh, the cows are getting the mineral in their system every day. Uh, as compared to when we used to um, feed cows free choice mineral on grass and we didn't know if all the cows were getting the mineral or not and I think this way we know that it's getting in their systems no matter what.